I want to welcome all of you in, in our third service, celebration service. And I want to promise to you that you are going to meet with your word. Already God has released the word and he has sent the word to come to you. And the word is coming to change your destiny and also to connect you with the atmosphere of your greatness. Therefore, as we plan now to prepare to enter in the service, I want to read the word of God, and God is going to bless all of us in Jesus' name. I want to read Psalms 96. Psalms 96, can you read together? Uh, chapter 1, all the way to, to uh, pass 1, all the way to pass 3. The Bible says, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nation, his marvelous deeds among all people. Let us pray. Precious and everlasting Father, the Father of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, this wonderful time we want to celebrate because of who you are. We want to celebrate because of your character, your nature, and your being. We want to celebrate for your power and for your strength and your authority, and your glory, and your value, and your existence. We acknowledge your eternal God. We acknowledge your everlasting Father. We acknowledge you are the Prince of Peace. We acknowledge you are the Creator, your Savior, and you are our blessed hope. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you, Lord, for the way you have brought us this far. In the mighty name of the Lord, thank you for your divine provision, your divine Jehovah King of Glory connection, and your divine power and sustaining power in our lives, in our family, in our business, and in the issues of life. Father, we have looked at you and we have counted you faithful. We have counted you powerful and mighty and great and awesome and wonderful. In the mighty name of the Lord, that we want to welcome the Holy Spirit now in this time. So that he can lead us, he can guide us, he can teach us, he can correct us and balance as we flow in your presence. Allow me to welcome your presence, the Holy Trinity, that you come in and take over. Father, we are thirsty and angry even to dwell in your presence and in your power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ now. Jehovah Lord, we surrender our lives. We surrender our vision. We surrender our emotion, our feelings and our attitudes and our body. And we ask by the leading and the working of the Holy Ghost, dear Father, we are going to worship you in the truth and in the spirit and in the anointing. Lord, be glorified now as you welcome us in your presence and in your power. Thank you for your children, Lord. They have expectation. And I thank you, dear Father, because they are not going to be cut off. Because they have come to the mountain of the Lord. They have come, dear Father, to your dwelling place. They have come, dear Father, Lord, to where you are reigning. And where you have a commanded blessing to your name. Can you be glorified as they celebrate? Can you be glorified as they enter in their miracles? Can you be glorified, dear Father, as they receive their, their, their destiny and even connection? We give you praise for everything. We give you praise for the beginning and in, we, as we progress in the mighty name of the Lord. Father, we thank you and we bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we are praying and rejoicing in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Can you say amen? amen? Can you say again? Amen. 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 We thank God for this time. Uh, we want to go to another section. That is, we want to go to the praise and worship. And I'm inviting the United Voices. So that they can lead us in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you join them as you are blessed in Jesus' name? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know you are born I know you I know you are
Hallelujah. Inua mikono yako juu mwambie Bwana hakika wewe ni mwema. Hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe. Sifa zetu mchana wa leo heshima yote. Utukufu wote tunakupatia wewe Mungu wetu. Bwana wema wangu hausemeki Bwana. Ukuu wako Bwana hausemeki Mungu wetu. Rehema zako ni mpya kila asubuhi Bwana. Asante kwa sababu Bwana. Umetushindani au umetupa rehema zako asubuhi ya leo Bwana. Heshima na utukufu tunakupa wewe Mungu wetu. Bwana hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe Yesu. Peke yako ndiwe mkuu Bwana. Peke yako ndiwe mweza Bwana. Peke yako ndiwe mshindi Bwana. Tunasema asante Kristo wa rehema. Tunalitukuza jina lako Mungu usiyeshindwa. Asante kwa sababu wewe ni mkuu Bwana. Wewe ndiwe mshindi Mungu wetu. Wewe ndio kimilio letu Bwana. Wewe ndiwe tegemeo letu Bwana. Tunakupa sifa zote mfalme. Tunakupa heshima zote mfalme. Wewe unastahili sifa Bwana. Asante Bwana kwa sababu wewe ni mwema. Asante Mungu wa miungu kwa sababu unawe. Asante Bwana wa majeshi. Thank you Lord. Hakuna 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 kama wewe. Hakuna 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 kama wewe Bwana hakuna. Hakuna hakuna Precious Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we want to thank you because of your presence. 
We want to thank you, dear Father, because you are in the throne. You are in control, Jehovah King of Glory, of our lives, of our mind, of our heart, our situation and the condition. We thank you, Lord, for the way you have blessed us with your presence and with your power and with your authority and with your riches and your majesty and even abundance. We give you praise, Lord, for this favor, even to be found in your presence and to dwell in your presence and to move in your presence. We celebrate you, Lord, for honoring us with that divine strength and divine atmosphere and sustainability, O oh God. A place of fullness, a place of miracles, signs, and wonders, and a place of divine connection. We give you praise, Daddy, and we give you the glory. Mighty is you, awesome is you, great and wonderful you are. Receive glory, receive honor, receive praise, receive thanksgiving, and receive adoration. Thank you, and we worship you. In that mood of prayer, I want we worship God in silence, and we allow God to minister to our soul, and even our spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Daddy, we thank you for what is happening now. And we thank you for what we are receiving in your presence. Because in your presence there is fullness of joy. Receive praise, receive glory. In that moment of prayer, we want to go to another section. That is, we want to intercede for this blessed nation of Kenya. We want to intercede for the glorious church of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. We want also to pray for the blessed minister of deliverance church, Kayole. And also we want to pray for the families by faith and with the liberation. And also we want to tell God that we take authority and the control of the gate of this month of August. That the King of glory, the mighty and the Lord God, the God of battle is to take control inside our lives, inside our nation, inside our family, inside our businesses and our careers and our visions and all things concerning us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I want to welcome my brother, Eodam Shilo, to come. And we agree with him by faith and by the power of God. As he's going to lead us in Jesus' powerful name. Thank you, Jesus. Let's all believe together. As you pray. Our Father and our God in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, we praise your holy name and we worship you. Yes. We thank you, King of Glory, for this opportunity mm. that, you, that you have given to all of us, Jehovah God, mm. to see this new day. Yes, Lord. For this the day that made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, Lord. We thank you for the good of life. Yes. We thank you for the good of salvation. Yes. We thank you for the good health of our bodies. Yes. And we thank you for the gift of soul might. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah God. Even for this, for the protest, oh Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Church, oh Lord. yes, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah God, even for watching our last. Yes. Since our stand is, uh, when we are here, Jehovah God. Oh, my Father. And Jehovah yes. God, we thank you for thank walking you, with Lord. us to our various destinations, oh Lord. Yes. And Jehovah God, we have, back, we have come back here this afternoon, King of Glory, mm. to say thank you to you as we offer our sacrifices of thanksgiving to you. Yes, Lord. Receive the glory, receive the reason because you're yes, so daddy. good. Yes. Jehovah God, this morning, we mm. confess our sins before you. Yes. For our sins are many. Yes. Our sins are before us. Yes. Jehovah God, we pray for your forgiveness. Yes. We pray for your mercies, yes. which are new every morning in our lives. Yes. We pray for your mercies, which are new every, every day in our lives, Jehovah God. Yes. And Jehovah God, we pray for your forgiveness. Yes. We pray for your cleansing, Jehovah yes. God. Yes. And we pray for your restoration, O oh Lord. Yes. We thank you, King of Glory, mm. even for the nation of Kenya. For, this, for the nation of Kenya belongs to you, King of Glory. Yes. For your word says, Jehovah God, blessed is the nation that, uh, whose God is the Lord. And the people that is chosen to be your inheritance, O oh Lord. Mm. And Jehovah God, I thank you, Jehovah God, yes. even for this Father brought us as a, as a nation yes, of Kenya, Lord. King of Glory. Yes. We thank you for the good prayer that you have concerning our nation of Kenya, King of Glory. And I thank you, Jehovah, Jehovah God, even for the leaders yes. that you have chosen for us, Jehovah God, yes. to rule and reign in this nation of Kenya. Yes. Jehovah God, I want to thank you for President Uhuru Kenyatta. Yes. I thank you for his deputy. Yes. And Jehovah God, I thank you even for all, the, all those in authority, King of Glory. Bless them, Jehovah God, at a time like this, King of Glory. We thank you for the peace of our nation, and we thank you, Jehovah God, for, for, for the love that you have loved us, O oh Lord. Jehovah God, this, this afternoon, King of Glory, I want to thank you for the, for the Church of Jesus Christ, 
the Reform Church International Cayore, Java God, I thank you, Java God, for this Father process, O oh Lord. As the minister of the Reform Church Cayore, for the last 24 years, King of Glory, in this ministry, King of Glory. We thank you, Java God, for working with us. And Java God, we thank you, Java God, even for sustaining our lives, King of Glory, and for blessing us, O oh Lord. I thank you, Java God, even for the spiritual parents that have been to us in this ministry of Redemption Cayore, King of Glory. I thank you, King of Glory, even for this Father brought us, O oh Lord. Together with them, King of Glory, our spiritual parents, King of Glory, in this ministry, our Bishop, uh, our dad, uh, uh, Bishop Robert Zimba, and our mom, Bishop Susan Zimba, bless them, King of Glory, together with their children and their grandchildren, wherever they are in this afternoon. Jehovah God, I thank you, Jehovah God, even for the vision that you given to them, Jehovah God, to prepare this ministry to the greater heights. Jehovah God, Jehovah God, I thank you for them, King of Glory. I pray for the good health upon them. I pray, Jehovah God, for long life upon them. And Jehovah God, I pray for your favor upon them, King of Glory. Jehovah God, may guide them and protect them, Jehovah God. Jehovah God, I thank you, King of Glory, even for the members of this family of the Reverend Church Coyote. May bless us all together, King of Glory. I speak a blessing of every, 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 of, of every member of this, uh, of this ministry of the Reverend Church Coyote, King of Glory. Guide us, Jehovah God, and do us good, King of Glory. I thank you, I pray for the family of the Reverend Church Coyote, Jehovah God. Jehovah God, all of us, Jehovah God, wherever we ask, King of Glory, in this uh, church and outside this church, King of Glory, may bless them, King of Glory. Java yes. God, I thank you, Java God, even for the good plan that we have concerning these families, O oh Lord. Yes. May bless us together as we continue to serve you in this ministry. Yes. Java God, I thank you for our children who are back at home, King of Glory. Yes. Java God, may bless them. Protect yes. them, Java God, yes. and may we do them good, King of Glory. Yes, Java God, I want to thank you, Java God, even for the minister of your word, King of Glory. Yes, As he come uh, for, to bring forth your word, King of Glory, yes. Jehovah God, I speak a double anointing yes. upon his love, King of Glory. Yes. For your word, Jehovah God, is, a, is the lamp at our feet, and your word is the light uh, into our past, King of Glory. And the word is the breath of life, King of Glory. May that, may that word transform us, and may that word, Jehovah God, change us, and make us the kind of people that want us to be King of Glory. Yes. I thank you, Jehovah God, even for the giving of your people. As we pay our tithes, as we give our offerings, King of Glory, yes. Jehovah God, may bless, the, may bless the work of our hands, King of Glory. May you rebuke uh, the devourer on our behalf, King of Glory. And may Jehovah God uh, guide us and protect us in everything, King of Glory. Jehovah God, we surrender the broken of today in your hearts, King of Glory, and we pray for the leading and for the guidance by the power in the Holy Spirit. May be with us, Jehovah God, up to, the, uh, uh, up to the last minute, King of Glory. And when you do this, all the glory and honor will be unto you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Can we celebrate God for this fun? Uh, we have enjoyed the presence of God, the leadership of God, and the blessing. Uh, surely our God is good. We have seen his presence and the power in the past service, the second service, and now we are in the wonderful service. That is the third service celebration service. And I want to promise you now, you'll be sensitive. Uh, and you are going to receive your word. Because the word has already been released in the spiritual realms. It is only you now who is supposed to raise the area. And you capture that word, which is coming with revelation, with the power and with anointing. Uh, to, to speak a miracle to your situation and to your condition. So I'm very privileged now to look for the people who are ready for their miracle. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, continue looking at the screen. We have the announcement, and then it's trying to connect and act according to how we are demanded to do. Also, I want to remind you also in love that you continue uh, observing the regulation of the government given to us by Ministry of Health, and I want to tell you God is going to see us through. Therefore, as now we prepare so that we can receive and the word of God, and we receive the voice of God, and mostly the prophetic voice. Can you stand with your feet? And uh, you help me by clubbing, as I welcome my, my brother, my friend, Reverend, to come and take over the mic, in Jesus' name. Amen. Good afternoon. Can you declare this afternoon, my life will never Ever, ever be the same again, be the same again. In, Jesus name. in Jesus name my family my business will never, will never ever, ever be the same, be the same. 
again in Jesus name I believe it I receive it I celebrate it in Jesus name amen 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 before you sit in the presence of the Lord I request those who are seated just far on, uh, behind there please come in front so that we can occupy these seats near here so that we can have a warm closer fellowship please I request you that you can come occupy these seats that are near here near the halter so that we can have a warm fellowship thank you so so much and may the Lord bless you amen you can take your blessed seats in the presence of the Lord uh, this afternoon as we gather once again in the house of the Lord, I want to thank God for you. I'm reminded the word of God that there was a king who had invited people for a feast. And when the king invites people for a feast and they come, and they come and they celebrate together, as we read from the word of God, one thing I know is that you cannot attend a feast of a king and you live without a gift. So as you have come to the house of God, Except, expect that the Lord will reward you. Expect that the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. So I'm privileged this afternoon once again to share the word of God together with us. And I want to thank our bishop for giving me this opportunity that I may bring the word for us today. And our word this afternoon is coming from the book of Luke chapter 9, uh, Luke chapter 8, verse number 9 to 16. Give us Luke chapter 8. We will read verse number 9 to verse number 16. That's where we have the word of God this afternoon. Luke chapter 8. We are reading verse number 9 to verse number 16. The word of the Lord says, Then his disciples asked him, saying, What does this parable mean? Verse number 10. And he said, To you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But to the rest, it is in parables that seeing they may not see and hearing they may not understand. Verse number 11. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Verse number 12. Those by the wayside are the ones who hear. Then the devil comes and takes away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. Verse number 13. But the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear, receive the word with joy. And these have no root, who believe for a while, and in time of temptation fall away. Verse number 14. Now the ones that fell among thorns are those who, when they have heard, go out, are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of life, and bring no fruit to maturity. Verse number 15. But the ones that fell on the good ground are those who, having heard the word with a noble and good heart, keep it and bear fruit with patience. Aha, uh -huh. verse number 16. No one, when he has lit a lamp, covers it with a vessel or puts it under a bed, but sets it on a lampstand that those who enter may see the light. Let us pray. Father, we thank you once again this afternoon. Lord, as we sit in your presence, we are asking that our Father, your word will come to us with simplicity and power, that your word will, Jehovah Father, give us wisdom. Even my Father, to know your will, to know how to live in these days and times that we are living in. We commit ourselves now to the ministry of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, this is Jesus who was interpreting to his disciples the parable of the sower and as we can see from the word of God he told them that people receive the word but in different ways but there are those specifically that receive the word with a good heart and they go forth and they bear fruit according to the word and he also says that these ones can also be compared to verse number 16 they are the ones who carry the light and as they carry the light, they continue to shine. Because you cannot light a candle or a lampstand and put it under a bed or cover it. You have to expose it so that it can continue to give more light even to those who are around. So this afternoon, 
the message that I want to, br to bring from this post portion of scripture is that the light and the works of God in men. The light and the works of God in men. That is my message this afternoon. And I want us to know, at a time as we are today, God wants to manifest himself to men in this world. But he can only manifest himself to men through men who are carriers of the light and the works of God. Wakati kama huu ambapo tuko sasa, wakati ambapo unaonekana ni mgumu na ukona majaribu mengi, mungu bado anataka kujidhirisha kwa ulimwengu. Na atajidhirisha na mnagani kama nuru na kazi zake ambazo zinaonekana kwa wanadamu wale ambao wameweza kumjua mungu. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse number 16 that let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father who is in heaven. Bibi nasema ya kwamba na matendo yetu nuru yetu ingai ili matendo yetu yonekane na watu wa ulimwengu ili waweze kumtukuza mungu alie mbinguni. Wakati kama huu, watu wengi sana wangetamani kumjua mungu. Na wakati kama huu ambapo watu wanatamani kumjua mungu, mungu amechagua njia moja kujitambulisha kwa ulimwengu. Na hii ni kupitia kwa watu ambao wanabeba nuru yake na matendo yake. Ili watu wa ulimwengu wakisha waona, wataanza kumjua mungu, wataanza kumtambua mungu. Wataanza kumkaribia mungu. Wataanza kuona ya kwamba ni heri mungu kuliko kupotea katika ulimwengu wa giza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na diposa nino nilasema ya kwamba na sisi tuangaze nuru. Ili wataka ona matendo yetu wa mtukuze mungu alie mbinguni. I want us to see the light of God in men. I want to tell you this afternoon ya kwamba we are the carriers of the light of God. Sisi watu wa mungu ni watu ambao tunabeba nuru ya mungu ambao inafaa kungaa katika ulimwengu ili wanaoona waweze kumjua mungu. We are the carriers of the light of God. What do we mean by the light of God? The light of God in godly men is the knowledge of God that reveals the nature and the things of God through men. Diposa tukambiwa ya kwamba in Luke chapter 8 and verse number 16 No man will light a lamp and cover it Kwa sababu the light of God It is the knowledge of God That reveals the nature and the things of God through men If ya kwamba The word of God He imparts in us The nature and the grace of God so that we can manifest the things of God to the world. And therefore, through what we manifest unto them, from what we have received from the word of God, they can begin to see the light of God, which is the knowledge of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Mtu yoyote ambaye anamjua mungu, anabeba nuru ya mungu. Kwa sababu, ni kutoka katika neno, anapata ile kumjua mungu, diyo nuru yake mungu. Nandiposa atayangaza katika ulimwengu. For example, God teaches us to love. And because he teaches us to love, by the help of the divine nature of God and the grace of God, we are able to love. How can you love your enemies? It is because God teaches you in his word to love. Divine nature of God in you helps you together with the grace of God to love. Diposa watu wa ulimwengu wakikuona Unapenda maadui zako Wakati ambapo wewe mwenyewe Auna vengeance kwa maadui zako Autaki kulipisha Auna ile vengeance a -a. Ni kwa sababu gani Kilicho dani yako ni upendo Amba umepata kutoka kwake mungu Na katika kueneza ule upendo Na kuonyesha ule upendo Then your light is shining before men Can you say amen Wakati kama huu Watu wengi hawajui upendo lakini watajua upendo wakiona upendo ulio ndani yako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wakati kama huu, how can we see kindness? 
Where can we see gentleness? Where can we see the masses of God? It is in us. It is through us and it is by us. And that is how we shine the light of God to the world which is lost and it requires the light of God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hakuna wakati ambapo ulimwengu unataka kuona nuru ya Mungu kama sasa. When you are seeing that people at a time like this they are being affected and afflicted by the enemy that they don't know how to do. They need to see the light of God in you and in me so that they may know there is a God in heaven. Bwana asifiwe sana. Wakati ambapo unaona katika matangazo katika familia kuna shida watu wanafanya e, kupigana kuumizana na mambo ambayo hayampendezi Mungu ni sisi wakuje kwetu waone ile nuru tulie nayo ndio waweze kujua ya kwamba hakika Mungu wetu anawajali na ile nuru tulio nayo tumetoka tumetoa kwake Mungu na wataweza kubadilisha maisha yao Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kwa sababu wakati kama huu Nataka kukuhakikishia kwamba Mungu atatuma Yesu mara ya pili aje kuhubiri hapa duniani. Lakini atatumia mimi na wewe as we shine the light, the light of the kingdom of God, then men will be drawn and will be attracted to God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na ndipo sasa unaona ya kwamba tunasema ya kwamba the light and the works of God will reveal God to men at a time like this. Na hizi zitapatikana katika maisha yetu. I also want us to see the works of God in men. Matendo ya Mungu katika wanadamu. Nataka tujue ya kwamba the good works of godly men reveal the nature of God and his good works. Matendo yetu ambayo yatakuwa mazuri katika ulimwengu ambao umejawa na giza na dhambi yatafanya watu waanze kumjua Mungu na watamkaribia Mungu. We are looking at the pattern of Jesus Christ. Jesus was full of good works. Yesu alikuwa na matendo mazuri. Diposa Biblia inasema in the book of Acts chapter 10 and verse number 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with the power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of devil for God was with him kupitia kwa matendo mazuri wakati kama huu Mungu ataweza kuonekana kupitia kwa matendo yetu ambayo ni matendo mazuri kama vile ambavyo Yesu Kristo alikuwa amejawa na matendo mazuri na Biblia inasema ya kwamba mahali popote alienda aliweza kutenda mema na ndiposa akamwakilisha Mungu na akafanya watu wengi sana wakapendezwa na wakaweza kumjua Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kwa hivyo nyakati ambapo, ambapo tunaishi leo, lazima kuwe na watu ambao wanaangaza nuru ya ufalme wa mbinguni. Lazima kuwe na watu ambao wako na matendo ambayo yatafanya watu wa ulimwengu waweze kupendezwa na Mungu na waweze kumkaribia Mungu. Ndiposa tukaambiwa kwamba we have to shine our light has to shine before men and our good deeds so that they may glorify our Father and our God in heaven. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Righteous men are carriers of good works. Watu ambao wanamjua Mungu ni watu ambao wamejawa na matendo mazuri. Ni watu ambao kuzungumza kwao mienendo yao na tabia yao inaashiria kwa wanadamu ya kwamba kweli Mungu yuko and i can tell you we are very visible visible before the world sisi tunaonekana vyema sana katika ulimwengu huu wakati ambapo kafiu ilianza mali naishi mwendo wa saa tatu hivi nilitoka siku moja nikaenda kwa balcon kuna mali kuna balcon kubwa pale na nikapata jirani pale na yeye ndio alikuwa wa kwanza kuniongelesha akaniambia hii kafiu imetukosea sana kwa sababu gani sifikangi kwa nyumba mapema na fikanga kwa nyumba the earliest saa saba ya usiku na ninatoka saa kumi. na alikuwa ame amekunywa ame, ame pombe akaniambia sijawahi na sasa ile kitu ninafanya ninanunua pombe mingi sana ninaweka kwa nyumba na kwa sababu mtoto wake anacheza na mtoto wangu mimi najua mtoto wake na mimi 
hapo hapo nikaanza kumzungumzia nikamwambia uwezi kuweka pombe kwa nyumba kwa sababu watoto watakunywa utaintroduce pombe kwa watoto mapema kwa hivyo hata wakati ambapo unafanya hilo jambo alina faida yoyote within a conversation of one minute alikuwa ashaanza kuniambia na wewe unaongea kama pasta because he was seeing he was beginning to see the light from the conversation na mimi hata sijawahi kutana naye akaanza kuniambia for sure wewe umeanza kuongea vile unaongea wewe ni pasta na sisi wakati kama huu ambapo watu wamekoteza tumaini ambapo watu wame pigwa na changamoto za kila aina. Ninaomba ya kwamba tutatembea katika matendo ambayo yanadhirisha Mungu yuko katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Yes, maana watakuangalia waone ya kwamba hakika wewe hauwezi kudanganya na kweli wewe hakika kuna kitu kiko ndani yako ambacho kiko na mvuruto. Watatamani, watatamani na kupitia kwako watamjua huyu Mungu. In the book of Titus chapter 3 and verse number 8 the bible says this is a faithful saying and these things i desire that you are firm constantly that they who have believed in god might be careful to maintain good works these things are good and profitable to men Titus anaandikiwa na Paul anaambiwa ya kwamba haya ni mambo ya muhimu sana ya kwamba wale ambao wameamini na wamemjua Mungu wawe na matendo mema. Wawe na matendo mema ambayo itaonekana katika ulimwengu huu na itafanya watu waweze kumjua Mungu. As godly men, we are expected to manifest the works of God through the fruits of good deeds in a sinful world. Ni wakati wa kuonyesha matendo mazuri katika ulimwengu ambao umejawa na dhambi Mungu anatutazamia sisi ya kwamba tutaenenda katika matendo ambayo ni mema ambayo yatafanya wanadamu waweze kumjua Mungu ambayo yatafanya ulimwengu ambao umepotea uweze kumjua Mungu And I want us to see a few people who did good deeds na wakaweza kufanya Mungu akaweza kupata eh, kujulikana na kutambulikana number one, the grace and good works of the good samaritan msamaria mema mwema ni mfano wa wale ambao walitenda matendo mema ambayo yalileta utofauti katika ufalme wa Mungu na katika dunia na ndiposa Yesu akafundisha mafundisho ya msamaria mwema in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse number 33 to verse number 37 Biblia inasema ya kwamba but a certain Samaritan as he journeyed came where he was and when he saw him he had compassion on him and went to him and bound his wounds pouring oil and wine and set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him and on the next day when he departed he took out two pence and gave them into the innkeeper and said unto him take care of him whatsoever you spent more when i come again i will repay you which now of these three think you was neighbor unto the one who fell among the thieves and he said he that showed mercy to him then said jesus unto him go do you likewise ya kwamba msamaria mwema ambaye alikuwa na neema ya matendo mazuri na alikuwa na matendo mazuri ambapo Yesu Kristo alifundisha kwa mfano wake ya kwamba matendo mazuri yatafanya watu ambao wako katika ulimwengu waweze kumjua Mungu na kumkaribia Mungu ya kwamba maisha ya Kikristo tunaambiwa ya kwamba we should not be only hearers but doers of the word of God tukifundishwa neno la Mungu Mungu anatarajia ya kwamba tutakuwa watu wana wanaonyesha ya kwamba wamepata ile knowledge wako na ile knowledge ya Mungu kwa matendo yao lazima tuwe watu ambao tuna matendo tumejawa na matendo mazuri ambayo yatafanya ulimwengu ambao umepotea siku ambazo tunaizi tunaishi waweze kumjua Mungu tukiangalia tunaona ya kwamba huyu good samaritan alitenda yaliyo mema na ndiposa Yesu akasema ya kwamba na sisi ni inatufaa 
tuwe na matendo mazuri kama hayo kwa wanadamu na niseme ya kwamba tusichoke wakati ambapo tunapata ile nafasi ya kutenda mema yale ambayo yataleta utofauti kati yetu na watu ambao ni wa ulimwengu lazima tuwe tayari kutenda mema lazima tuwe tayari kuonyesha kwamba kutoka kwa Mungu wetu tumejua kutenda mema kama vile ambavyo tumesema ya kwamba Yesu Kristo alijawa na matendo ambayo ni matendo mema ambayo yalienda zaidi kufanya watu wengi wakakuja katika ufalme wa Mungu kwa hivyo tunaona ya kwamba the good samaritan the good samaritan ambaye alitenda mema na alikuwa na neema ya kutenda mema na sisi wenyewe tunaambiwa katika Biblia kwamba tuwe watu ambao wanatenda matendo kama hayo katika kanisa hili letu pia nikasikia ushuhuda wa dada mwingine wakati kama huu ambapo maisha si ni magumu sana ya kwamba mtoto wake alikuwa anacheza na mtoto wa jirani yake na sasa mama amekaa tu mahali kando kwa varanda na mtoto wake. Na mtoto wa huyu mshirika wetu, watoto ni watoto wakaongea, akamwambia atujakula sapa. Huyo mama alisema nilisimama mara moja. Nikaenda kwa ule mama nikamwambia mtoto amesema mjakula sapa, asapa na wewe ni jirani na hujanizungumzia. Akamwambia kuja, akaenda kwake jikoni. Tafungua, akatoa unga, akatoa chakula, akamwambia tafadhali dakika hii uende uhakikishe mtoto ameshiba na mmetosheka matendo mema wakati ambapo ule mama anaona hayo hata akiambiwa na ule dada twende kanisani ninapenda Yesu atasema tunaenda na wewe kwa sababu matendo yako ni matendo ambayo yanaashiria mtu ambaye anamjua Mungu na diposa Yesu aliwatendea watu mema mahali popote alienda ili matendo yake iweze kuhakikisha ya kwamba amedhihirisha wema wa Mungu na Mungu akajulikana katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Pia tunaona ya kwamba the grace and good works of Dorcas katika Acts chapter 9 and verse number 36. Biblia inasema now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and good works and harms deeds which she did ya kwamba huyu Dorcas alijawa na matendo mema hata wakati ambapo alipofariki Peter akaitwa wakati aliitwa wale wajane wakatoa zile nguo alikuwa amewashonea wakasema Peter wakamwambia Petro ona hii yote ni kazi ya Dorcas ametenda kwetu na ndiposa wakati Peter alimuombea akaweza kufufuka na mimi nataka nikuambie hivi sio tu matendo mema watu wa, wa ulimwengu watamjua Mungu kupitia kwa matendo mema yale ambayo tutatenda lakini hata milango ingine kwetu itafunguka kwa sababu ya matendo mema Bwana asifiwe sana yes matendo mema itafungua milango kwa maisha yetu tunaona Dorcas labda binguni kulikuwa na conversation ni kipi ambacho ni kinafanya Mungu mwenyewe amfufue Dorcas wale wajana wakasema ona ile kazi ametufanyia kazi jema amefanya kwetu mpaka wakati Peter aliomba maombi ikaenda direct na Dorcas akafufuka kwa hivyo matendo mema sio ati tu kwa sababu italeta watu kumjua Mungu katika ulimwengu ambao umepotea lakini pia itatufungulia milango Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana itatufungulia milango kuna mambo mengine ambao hatutangangana nayo kwa sababu ya matendo mema milango yenyewe itafunguka. Na ndiposa ninasema ya kwamba tunaishi katika nyakati ambazo watu wamekosa matendo mema kabisa. Watu hawataki hata kupatiana nafasi kwa mwingine. Eh, wakati ambapo watu maybe kuna mali ambapo wanatarajia services unapata kuona ya kwamba ni ngumu sana mtu akubali kusema ya kwamba i can allow you to go ahead of me wakati ambapo watu hata wanaendesha magari barabarani siku hizi wanakuwa very selfish diposa matendo mema inakuwa rare lakini kitu kimoja ninajua ya kwamba matendo mema italeta hata milango ya fedha itafunguka kwa maisha bwana yesu asifiwe sana yes maana baraka zingine tunapata ni kwa sababu ya matendo mema. Unapata kuona ya kwamba kuna mtu ambaye ulimtendea mema. Na wakati mmoja itafika mahali atakumbuka. 
na labda anaweza kukutana na mtoto wako na pia aseme ya kwamba huyu ni mtoto wa fulani ninajua fulani ninajua alionitendea kwa hivyo kwa sababu alinitendea mema na mimi katika hili jambo nitasimama na ye. ama nitamfungulia mlango pia Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana ama labda uwe mlango mkubwa zaidi <laughs> eh, saa zingine inakuwa ni mambo extraordinary you cannot imagine <laughs> wacha nitumie mfano mmoja ambao unaweza kukustaajabisha lakini ni mfano wa kweli hebu fikiria na mimi nataka kuamini ni kwa sababu Sio vile tu saa zingine tunaona hata kama ni mfano wa siasa lakini kuna mambo ambayo iko hapo ndani. Nataka umuone rais wetu kama Uhuru Kenyatta. Tunajua Moi na Kenyatta walikuwa marafiki. Na historia inasema ya kwamba Kenyatta alimtenda Moi mema mengi sana. Inafika mahali Moi anasema huyu kijana atawaongoza. You can imagine. Na watu wakawa na doubts here and there. Lakini eventually akapata kile alikuwa amesema a, atapata. Kwa hivyo nasema kwamba hata katika any level matendo mema yanaweza kutufungulia milango katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana asifiwe sana. And especially milango ya kibali. That is why mimi huwa simdharau mtu yoyote mahali popote kwa sababu anaweza kukua wa baraka kwa maisha Kwa hivyo unakuwa mtu ambaye anatenda mema. It is very important that we satisfy the expect, expectation of our God as men of light and full of good works. Hebrews chapter number 13 verse number 20 to 21. Biblia inasema ya kwamba now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant make you complete in every good work to do his will working in you that is which we, which is well pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ to whom be glory forever and ever amen ya kwamba Mungu ambaye alimfufua Yesu Kristo anatarajia ya kwamba sisi tutakuwa wakamilifu katika matendo mema we shall be complete in good works ili tuweze kuleta utukufu kwa Mungu na watu wa ulimwengu wataweza kuona na wataweza kumjua Mungu. Kwa hivyo mchana wa leo nataka tushike hili neno ya kwamba as the righteous of God we are the carriers of the light and the works of God so that we may bring men to God. Men will see the light of God in us, the good works of God in us and they will come to the kingdom of God. Wakati kama huu, wacha tuhesabike. Watu ambao wanatembea katika nuru na matendo mema ili watu waweze kumjua Mungu. Watu wako desperate at a time like this. Wako desperate katika hali ya kumjua Mungu na kumkaribia Mungu. Na ni sisi tu wenyewe kwa matendo yetu na kwa maisha ambayo tunaishi watu wataweza kumkaribia Mungu na wataweza kumjua Mungu. Kwa hivyo ni hombi langu ya kwamba tutaweza kuwa watu ambao wamejawa na nuru na matendo mema ili kupitia kwetu watu ambao wamepotea katika ulimwengu waweze kumjua Mungu. Hebu tusimame kwa miguu yetu mchana wa leo tunapoenenda mbele zake Bwana katika hali ya maombi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ningependa mchana wa leo E, tuenende mbele zake Bwana tumwambie Bwana tunamtegemea tunamtumainia tunamuomba aweze kutusaidia tuwe watu ambao wanatembea katika kuangaza nuru yake katika matendo ambayo yatafanya ulimwengu uweze kumjua Mungu mahali popote tulipo tutachukua hiyo nafasi ya kuwa watu ambao wamejawa na matendo mema watu ambao wanaangaza nuru ya ufalme wa mbinguni ili Mungu aweze kutambulika na kujulikana kupitia kwetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Thank you Jesus. Tuenende mbele zake Bwana mwambie Bwana mchana wa leo aweze kutusaidia, aweze kutusaidia tuweze kutenda tukuenenda katika njia ambazo zitasababisha Mungu mwenyewe aweze kutambulika na kujulikana katika ulimwengu wa sasa kama kuna njia yoyote ambayo umepungukiwa na matendo mema uweze kumwambia Bwana mchana wa leo aweze kuguza maisha yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo 
ili uwe umejawa na matendo mema na unaangaza nuru ya ufalme wa Mungu katika kizazi hiki na wakati huu katika jina la Yesu Father we surrender to you gracious and mighty God in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that our father the nature and the grace of God for good works will be at work in our lives even for the glory and the honor of your name may you help us our lord and our god as we surrender to you gracious lord that our father in the name of jesus we shall be full of light and good works and that our light will shine even to a world that needs to know you in the name of jesus and at a time like this and for the glory and the honor of your name may you help us our father may you give us the grace lord god almighty to be full of good works at a time like this and in our generation even for the glory and the honor of your name we surrender to you mighty and everlasting god may you come and have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, mighty God in heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Have your way, dear Lord. Have your way. Have your way, dear Lord. Have your way. Have your way, dear Lord. Have your way. Oh, Lord. Have your way, we surrender, Lord. Have your way, we surrender, Lord. Have your way, we surrender, Lord. Have your way, oh Lord. Have your way, have your way, dear Lord. Have your way, have your way, dear Lord, have your way, have your way, dear Lord, have your way, oh Lord, have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Kama uko hapa mchana wa leo na ujaokoka, ningependa kukupatia nafasi hii auwezi ukaenenda katika nuru na matendo mema ambayo yataleta watu kumjua Mungu kama kweli au na huyu Mungu. Kwa hivyo kama uko hapa mchana wa leo na ujaokoka ningependa kukupatia nafasi hii tuweze kuomba pamoja ili ukaweze kupokea hii nuru ili ukaweze kupokea ile necha ya Mungu ambayo itakusaidia uweze kuangaza nuru ya ufalme wa Mungu na pia kuenenda katika matendo mema kuna yeyote ambaye anasema mchana wa leo sijaokoka na ningependa kuokoka ili nimjue huyu Mungu nienende katika njia zake katika jina la Yesu Kristo kuna yeyote kuna yeyote ambaye anasema mchana wa leo hakika ningependa kuokoka ili niweze kumjua Mungu ndio niweze kuenenda katika hiyo hali ya kuangaza katika hiyo nuru ambayo itawaleta wengi kwa Mungu. Kuna yote ambaye hajaokoka katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. Tunaweza kuketi kwa kifupi, tunaweza kuketi kidogo. Kwa hivyo tunataka kwenda kutoa sadaka zetu na katika kila e, pila kuna basket ambazo zimewekwa pale na kama uko na sadaka yako unaweza kushika kwa mkono wako wakati ambapo tunaenda kuleta the The, the, the offering statement ili uweze kuwa na sadaka yako kwa mkono e, tafadhali jiandae na sadaka yako tunapoenenda katika e, kusoma ile offering statement ili tuweze kutoa matoleo yetu aha okay can we read the, the offering statement together One, two, three, go i do not rob god i always pay my full tithe i always give my offering cheerfully I declare that all these blessings shall come upon me and overtake me because I obey the voice of the Lord my God as I give my offerings to the Lord um, for jobs and better jobs, sales and commissions, finding money, blessings and increase, bills paid off, interest in income, raises and bonuses, gifts and surprises, favorable settlements, 
estate and inheritances, bills, decreases, benefits and returns, and so I am abundantly blessed. Amen. Kwa hivyo United Voices watatupatia chorus moja na tutaleta sadaka zetu katika hizo baskets ambazo ziko katika kila pila na tutaweza kubarikiwa katika jina la Yesu. Ikane wewe ni Bwana. Naijulikane wewe Amen, amen. Tunaweza kusimama tena tunapohimba our closing hymn kwa kufunga ibada yetu mchana wa leo as we sing our closing hymn as we sing our closing hymn. Okay. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame but only Name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. When darkness faces, lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace, in every eye and stormy gate. I hunger holds within the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand. Oh, how the ground is sinking sand. Oh, how the ground is sinking sand. His own is covenant and blood. Support me in the whelming flood. His way, he then is all my hope and stay. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. When he shall come with trumpet sound, oh my eye then in him be found. Righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Amen. Makofi kwa Yesu, makofi kwa Yesu. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you so much for coming to the house of God. Please, as you go in this world which is so affected by sin, which is in crisis at a time like this, let men know there is a God. As you shine the light in your good deeds, let men know there is a God in Jesus' name. Let us be 
full of good works like our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. that our God may be known. Let your light shine before men that they may glorify your Father in heaven as they see your good deeds at a time like this and in the days and in the times that we are living in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you stretch your hands as, as we pray together? Father, we thank you even for gathering us together in your house. Lord, as I pray, in the name of Jesus, I commit each and every one of us unto you. I pray for those who came to this house of prayer with expectations that our Father, you shall meet each and every one of us at the very point of our needs. There are those who are trusting you for job opportunities, business opportunities, our Father. I pray that our Father, doors will open for them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray that your favor will come upon their lives. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray those who are sick in your house, Lord, I declare the healing of God upon their sick bodies. In the mighty name of Jesus, according to your word, by the stripes upon the back of Jesus, we have been healed. Therefore, I declare total healing upon each and every one of those who are sick now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for every family which is represented here. I cover our families by the blood of Jesus. I rise up against every attacks of the enemy. I silence every demonic attacks by the power in the blood of Jesus. And I pray that our Father, we shall walk in the safety, the over Father, mighty God of the mighty hand of God and the presence of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I declare this coming week is a week of victory is a week of mighty breakthroughs in the name of Jesus Christ and for the glory and the honor of your name. May your presence go together with us. Lord, I declare divine protection in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare according to your word, no pandemic shall come near our dwelling place for we shall be safe because we are protected and we are hidden in Christ in God. In the name of Jesus, I declare this as we pray now. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, surely goodness and mercy, miracles, signs, and wonders shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Kesho tukutane saa moja jioni tuko na wakati wa maombi. Na Wednesday tuko na Holy Communion.